breaking news. President Trump is currently en route to Nashville and will be landing any moment now. This is ahead of his big rally in an effort to push the House health care bill forward. The bill will be put to a vote by the House Budget Committee tomorrow morning. Here now is Erin Elmore, a former Trump campaign surrogate, and Leslie Marshall. She is a radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. Erin, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? Well, first of all, tonight um, in Nashville, the most important thing that I've been hearing from inside the administration is that health care will be the topic du jour. And also, I think a really big issue that they're going to be focusing on also is school choice. And Nashville is sort of ground zero for this topic. Their last three school board elections have focused on school choice. And there's currently a bill in their state legislature that's talking about vouchers. And we know this is another pet project of Betsy DeVos as well. So I think these topics are going to be widely addressed in this very Trump-like rally environment. Yeah, no, that's interesting. I mean, Leslie, we're watching the president. Obviously, his plane has landed there and he's taxiing in right now. And Aaron makes an important point that even though we're talking about the health care bill that's tomorrow, earlier today he made a speech and he was in Detroit talking about um, the auto industry and getting people back to work and getting the um, lowering the cafe standards so that cars are, you know, cheaper here in the U.S., uh, and now he's going to insert the idea of school choice as well. He's talking about other topics while he's staying on health care. What do you think about that? Good strategy? No. <laughs> um, everybody in the United States is really focused on uh, three things, I would say, today. Uh, one is health care, two is Russia, and three are tax returns. And that doesn't matter if you have an R or a D next to your name. And Nashville is no exception. The reason he's talking about health care is it's problematic. Uh, there aren't just Republicans who are unhappy. There are people who actually voted for and supported the president who are now becoming happy with their Obamacare and their health plan, or those that want it replaced, very concerned about about what they see the replacement being, especially if they're more vulnerable and yeah. part of the poorer population, or if they're part of the elderly, or not elderly, but pre-senior to senior population. Aaron, isn't that interesting? I mean, with respect, that really shows the difference between the right and the left, because I'm not sure that, that the half of the country that voted for Donald Trump, that number two on their list today is Russia. I mean, I think they're thinking I, about paying their mortgage and they're thinking about their jobs right. and they're thinking about interest rates and they're thinking about, you know, right. the stuff that's really relevant to their family. I couldn't agree with you more. Moreover, we just found out with the two pages of tax returns that were released that um, our president paid about a 25 percent tax rate. So I think that's pretty admirable. Moreover, to say that anyone is happy with Obamacare, it's just not accurate. Those premiums for an average American are six thousand dollars a year. And for a family, almost 13,000. If you tell me that's working, I just can't agree. I can't get behind that whatsoever. That is just an astronomical amount for any individual or family. So really, I don't think people today are wor worried about Russia or tax returns. I think they're worried about living as a day-to-day -day American, making ends meet for their family. Leslie, real quick, tomorrow you think the vote, does it pass, does it not vote, does it not pass? It's not going to pass. So we're given numbers. A, a senior making about $26,000 is not yet retired, is paying okay. less than 2000 with Obamacare out of pocket. With the new plan, it would be closer to 15000 Nobody's okay. going to be able to live with that. Guys, thanks to both of you. Appreciate it.